Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on, YouTube? It's Filthy, and we're back with another video. Today, we're going to go through the Darkening of Tristram events. We did do a full playthrough through the dungeon on Hardcore Necromancer. I will link that in the description for you. Uh, but this is just a quick guide today to basically show you how to get the Royal Calf pet that you can see on screen. Uh, guess also the Butcher Pet, if you haven't got this one already. Uh, and also both the portrait frame and complete all of the achievements. As you can see, I've uh, just finished mine. I will pop some footage of the stuff that we're going to talk about on screen so that hopefully you can follow along and uh, get it done. As always, a thumbs up does brighten my day. Uh, and yeah, subscribe if you like Diablo 3. We're going to keep pumping the videos out. Uh, really excited for Diablo 2 Resurrected PTR, which hopefully will be coming soon. Uh, and also Diablo Immortal as well, uh, which we'll be covering on the second channel, uh, the Filthy Casual Mobile, which at the moment just has Raid Shadow Legends on. But again, I'll link that in the description if anybody is interested. Right, the achievements for the Darkening of Tristram events, which is now currently live. Uh, to get this, you basically go to achievements, you go general, and then the third one down here is special events. Uh, the first one, thank goodness you've returned pretty easy. You just have to play through the playthrough once. Uh, you just have to make sure that you kill the Skeleton King Butcher. Butcher is on, I think, level two uh, and pretty easy, just in the corner. Skeleton King, I think, is on the next level down three. Uh, Lazarus, I don't think you can actually kill without... You can't get to the Dark Lord without killing Archbishop Lazarus, uh, so that one should be pretty easy. You're going to get yourself a banner, Ogden's sign, and also Ogden's brew, uh, so you know you can uh, you can use those if you wish. The next one is the Protector of Tristram. This is a bit of a difficult one. Uh, you have to go through the dungeon and kill all of these unique monsters. Now, the way it works is is that certain monsters only spawn on certain floors some of them are guaranteed some of them are random so it's probably going to take you i think it took me five or six run throughs uh, to do i will link the icy veins written description that tells you where the monsters are all you need to do is make sure that you explore all of the dungeon uh, and you will get a good chunk of them on your first playthrough what i did is i ran through it three or four times once I got to there, I then looked up the five or six that I was missing, made a note of what floors they were, went down to the latest floor, and then back up. So as in like, let's say I had floor five, seven, and ten to do. Well, I'd go to ten, and there's no point going all the way to sixteen, because there's sixteen levels of this event, uh, which is obviously, you know, nice. Uh, we get classic demon portrait frame, which we are rocking right now. Uh, looks really good, uh, really, really cool. So I like that. We're going to be using that uh, abyss, I think. Uh, the next one is Pist, Pist over here, uh, Acquire Wurt's Leg. Uh, this is pretty easy to do. Um, on floor nine of the dungeon, you need to pick up the mushroom. Uh, so it's a guaranteed spawn. It's always there. It's just against the wall somewhere. Uh, pick up the mushroom. You then need to take the mushroom to... Uh, the cauldron which again is in the tristram event location so this is in the old ruins you need to go through into obviously the portal uh, you then get the witch's brew the witch's brew you then take to the corpses uh, in tristram and you basically want to put them in a down up left right uh, um, indication so i think it's farnham then griswold then pepin farnham farnham ogden griswold no, Farnham, Ogden, Pepin, Griswold, like that, yeah, yeah, it's on screen, down, up, left, right, once you've got that, uh, you then should have the plan, and you can go back to regular Diablo Town, teach it to Hadrig, and craft yourself uh, Wurt's leg, uh, which obviously is, uh, is pretty good, and that is the next achievement done. Uh, moving on, the next one after that is the Chamber of Bone. Pretty easy, you just need to make sure that you're exploring all of the dungeon as you go down. You will find the Chamber of Bone. There's normally a little totem outside that says this is the Chamber of Bone. You get a little bit of audio playing, uh, and that's that one. Pretty easy to do. Same for the Halls of the Blind. Again, you just need to make sure you find that, uh, and ditto for the Dark Passage. So the three kind of locations to find are all pretty easy. They will spawn every single playthrough, I think. Uh, although I missed one on my first playthrough, uh, but they should all be there. 
Uh, the next one, and this is how you get the butcher pet, is an eerie red glow blurs your vision. Uh, to do this, you have to basically make a level one character. You can use Paragon, you can use the cube, uh, you just have to make a new level one character. And then you have to uh, basically kill Diablo. So you can put your Paragon in, you can put gems in, all that stuff. Uh, and that will give you the Butcher Pet, uh, which looks pretty cool. Uh, let's be fair, it's uh, a nice one. I have seen people with this in the past. I've never bothered to collect it on PC, but we do have it now. Uh, so again, yeah, pretty pretty cool pet for us to get. Now, the last achievement is one that I haven't done. I'm probably not going to get it done uh, in this season because it is taking ages. So uh, the lovely line is, I sense a soul in search of answers. Uh, obviously, brilliant line from the game. You have to collect seven cultist pages. Uh, why is this a problem? Well, you can't do it farming T16 maps. You have to do it in just general sanctuary, so bounties. Um, you can only get them from killing cultists. So the cultist humanoid people, when you kill them, they will drop the pages. It's random, so you can get the same page twice. I've had page seven twice, um, and I've done a few hours of bounties, and I've only found two pages. I've done a bunch of Magda runs, uh, so this is basically making a game, going to Act 2, the road to Alcanus, because this has always got the cultists in so nice and easy you know there's some up here the video will probably make a liar of me and, and give us some uh you know i mean let's face it i'd be quite happy because it's uh it's been a little while since i found one you can pop into the cellars there's more cultists in here and it is just basically a lucky dip as to whether they drop they seem pretty rare um <clears throat> and then obviously you need to find all of the pages so it's going to take a bit of time now we've obviously got a long time left in the season so you know it's definitely possible uh, to get it done but at the moment um yeah it's it's not looking good uh there is sometimes another entrance as well you can get in uh to have a little look around uh here it is so the cellar there as well we can go in and have a look uh these are all pretty much enemies in here are pretty much all cultists so the way i figure it is it, it's got a decent high chance um, but other than that, there's plenty of other areas in the game that these guys can spawn. Uh, they can spawn in all of the acts in the various locations. Again, that is covered in the written guide. Um, if you want to just do bounties and if the pages drop, they drop. Uh, it is going to take quite a bit of time. Obviously, as you see there on the run, we didn't get any. Um, what you get is an angel portrait frame. So basically the exact same as the demon one, uh, but with an angel. So it would be cool to get... Uh, on the basis that it is just a portrait frame, um, I'm probably not going to put the grind in to get this done. Uh, but you never know. It's a long, there's a long season, so we might still do some extra bounties. Uh, now, the last thing is the cow pet. This is not listed on the achievements, uh, but we can still do it again in the um, events. All you do is you go and craft yourself a uh, Wurt's leg, which obviously you have to do for the over here achievement you then simply salvage it at Hadrig and it will give you a map of the stars you take that back to the old ruins uh, go back into Tristram uh, through the portal and then up in the top right again by Adris hut uh, is the cows and you basically have to press them uh, middle left right uh, which is written on the piece of paper so 213 it then gives you the cows, so the cows come back to life. Like, uh, you know, Star Wars ghosts, you then go to the abandoned farm shed because it opens that for you. Uh, and then just in here, uh, there is a chest, which you pop it and you get the pet and that's it. You can't blow up the cows, it's not like Diablo 2, unfortunately. we don't They don't attack us, we don't get to blow them up. Uh, and as far as I'm aware, there's nothing else in here, uh, sadly. Um, but yeah, that's it. So my advice is it's worth picking the two pets up for sure. I think pets are, uh, I always like them much more than portrait frames. Uh, the demon devil portrait frame is pretty cool. I'd recommend playing through it a few times. Just pick something that moves really fast, like Necro with move speed boots or God DH in a monk, something like that. Uh, make sure you've got an ingium and teleport and you'll fly through it. Uh, no bother. So it won't take that long to get. Cultist pages, I'll say a bit of a different story. Anyway, that is the guide. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope good luck RNG getting those cultist pages. It is going to be a bit of a pain. I'll be back with some more videos soon. Take it easy. Peace.